So I thought I'd release some harsh memories after four years. This takes place in the summer of 2018. I estimate June or July, and it's right now August 1st, 2022, as of recording this. I was walking around in the neighborhood, and again, in my own neighborhood, I get mixed views on whether or not I should be living on this planet. And I was walking around here in the neighborhood, and I came across a lady and a dog. And so she stopped and let me pass her. She didn't really smile or wasn't neighborly or anything like that, and I just passed her. And so I continued to walk. I was walking all around, and then I I believe I found myself on this street, Broad Street, and I was walking over here and right behind me was the lady coming in the cross traffic, uh, walking her dog, and when she saw me for the second time at the same height, she stopped dead at her tracks and she just looked at me. Her face wasn't like angry per se, but it was kind of bit like annoyed and attentive. Lips pierced that told me that she was getting ready to like attack like if she had to she would just jump and do self-defense or whatever if I were to attack and it's like I'm just an autistic person walking around the neighborhood not looking any different from one another not looking any different than any other human being and she continued to be stopped there until I passed by so she stopped there waited for me to pass by for, before she continued and just gave me the that like angry look well, I mean again not really angry but just a stare down to make sure that I don't attack her or dog or whatever and I guarantee that was because of me not somebody else unless that somebody else also had autism so that story right there I was living with for four years I'm very glad to finally get it out and that reminds me of a similar incident I remember being here around the same time or it may have been in 2015 2016 I don't remember but I was walking down this street and I remember I was looking at afar and that's when I saw a person just sprinting. The person was sprinting toward the garage and probably going to close it as soon as possible. And I was just, you know, all the way back here and I was just walking and I look up and this person was playing outside and then decided to sprint just because I was way back there approaching in this direction. And I'm like, okay, I'm autistic, that's all. I'm no different than anybody else. I'm no different than you per se. I'm a human being and I, could do whatever I set my mind to do and I'm also encouraging uh, people like yourself and everyone else on the planet that they could do whatever they set their mind to do. And I want this to be an encouragement for neurodivergence like me and just find someone that you could trust and learn to release harsh memories and such. I've had in feelings for like 20 years and it's like I gotta learn to release it. And again, this is my catharsis. It's a great release to me to be revealing these things and finally unloading these things. I'm doing it responsibly. I'm not giving personal details or anything that would identify a person or anything like that. So this is my encouragement to fellow neurodivergence is learn to find someone that you can trust. Release these memories. Do not bottle things up inside. I'm going out on social media to expose these things again in a responsible way where I'm not saying anything that would identify a person even if that person was a very harsh discriminator and I have endured harsher times than this which I know was subtle but again I lived with that for four years just like I've been living with other things a lot longer so whether you have been hiding things inside holding things inside for a matter of months or over 10 or 20 years then I encourage you to just release it just talk it out and I hope that you find some closure with that as I'm finding closure myself releasing harsh memories like these.